Android 7.1's long press app shortcut menus have been surprisingly popular, and a lot of third-party launcher developers have been working to bring the feature to devices running older versions of Android. Nova Launcher is among the list, and with the help of Sesame Shortcuts, it offers even more menu actions than ever before. So this is the Huawei P10. It's the first phone I reviewed for the channel, and it's still a great phone. You can check out the full review if you want to see more about it, but it doesn't have Android 7.1, which means it also doesn't have a lot of the newer features of Android, namely those menu items that I mentioned in the intro. Now again, Nova tries to bring some of that functionality over to older versions of Android, so I can still long press on something like Spotify and get these little menu items like editing the icon or taking it off of my desktop, but that's all pretty non-specific to Spotify. Um, now you can get a couple of apps to work, you know, sort of the way that the newer version does. Uh, I can long press on Twitter and get quick shortcuts to sending a tweet or a DM. I can long press on my banking app, Simple, and send money to other people that use Simple or find an ATM. But for the most part, this is all pretty non-specific, uh, for most apps anyway. So with the addition of Sesame Shortcuts, this can all become a lot more powerful and actually become kind of better than Android 7.1's shortcuts. So you can see it's a free app, but you do have to pay for it after 14 days as it notes up here. But basically what it does is it creates a short list of all the apps on your phone as well as all of the other apps that this app can support. Um, and basically from there you can look at different things on here like say we'll go to Google and you can see these are all the different menu shortcut items that it will now allow me to have if I enable the app. So. Uh, you know, these are just some of the different settings that you can set quick shortcuts to. If I don't want something like maybe I'm not big on stocks, so I can disable stocks from the shortcuts, I can do that. Or if I don't want any menu items on Google, I can just disable that app altogether. Um, I will leave that on. But basically, you can just pick and choose from all the different apps on your phone, see what you do want contextual menu items for. These are all, every action on here is actually generated by Sesame Shortcuts itself. It's not built into Android. So you get a lot more powerful options on here that are handpicked by, you know, a, a team of people. And then once you actually want to enable the app, you can swipe over here and enable Nova Launcher in the preferences. It's only currently available for Nova. Uh, you can also set it to work on the screen edge, so sort of like the way that the edge screen app works on the Galaxy S phones that have an edge screen. Uh, this will just let you enable uh, sort of a keyboard type and search for those different functions. Uh, I'm not going to leave that on because I just feel like that's a little clumsy, but on Nova Launcher, you can set it to natively work with the apps, so we turn that on. And now if I go into Google, long press that, there's all those different menu items that uh, we were able to enable or disable in Sesame Shortcuts. Go back to Spotify, which before gave me some generic options, and now it's giving me a list of some of the different uh, artists and songs that I like to listen to every so often. So that's really nice, gives you a quick shortcut to maybe some of your favorite tracks. Uh, go to something like Contacts and it'll list all of your favorite contacts that you most frequently contact. Settings is sort of similar to Google where you just get a giant list of apps. You know, it really just goes on and on. As far as the options go, you can really just customize everything you want. And if the certain app doesn't have what you want, like maybe Google doesn't have the specific setting I want, you can also add something new in here, which is really, really nice and convenient. Um, now, a little bit of a warning or a disclaimer, I guess. When I tried to use this app at first and I enabled Nova Launcher, it wouldn't actually let me turn it on for Nova Launcher when I was running the uh, stable version off the Play Store. I actually had to download the beta version of Nova Launcher from their site. So, you know, it basically when you try to turn it on with the stock version, it'll tell you that uh, your Nova Launcher is out of date. So that may or may not be fixed in an update. Hopefully soon you'll be able to use it with just the regular Play Store version. But for now, I did have to download the beta for uh, the newer version of Nova Launcher instead. But uh, this is a pretty powerful way to, you know, bring more menu items to an older version of Android, get sort of that new Android 7.1 functionality and maybe even you know make this phone more powerful as far as the long press menu items go than something like my OnePlus 5 that is running Android 7.1. Uh, this sort of gives you even more options than Google gives you by default. So Sesame Shortcuts is a great, great app. It's a nice addition to Nova Launcher, uh, and hopefully they'll bring support for more launchers soon, but for now, Nova's probably a good place to bet since it's such a popular launcher. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel for more tech content like this. For 9to5Google, this has been Hayato Huseman. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.